Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to make 5 easy wheel mask effects in After Effects. Let's begin with the wheel zooming out effect. Overlap your two clips like this and make sure that the clip with the wheel is above. Scroll to beginning of wheel clip and then duplicate it. Right click on it now. Go to time and select freeze frame. Right click again and pre-compose it. Name it to wheel and then make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected, then hit OK. Move will layer backward something like this and cut the ending of it right where the actual video starts from. Now we have to mask out the wheel, to mask I will use Mocha AE. In Mocha select elliptical tool and mask the wheel as smooth as possible. Once you are done, click on save and close Mocha. Expand mat now and click on create AE masks. Press M on your keyboard and tick inverted. Scroll to the beginning of the wheel layer now and let's create new camera layer. I will name it to zoom and change the preset to 28mm. Cut zoom camera layer where the wheel layer starts from. Then cut the ending right where the very bottom clip ends. Scroll to the zoom layer's beginning and make sure to enable 3D on wheel layer. Now open zoom transform settings. Click on point of interest and position stopwatch icons to create keyframes and then move these two keyframes to the end of wheel layer. Now grab a dolly cursor tool and make sure you are at the beginning of zoom layer and then zoom all the way in with a dolly cursor. Select all keyframes now and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor, right click there and select, edit speed graph. Make a smooth curve like mine now or play around with it until it looks fine to you. Select wheel layer and enable motion blur on it. In case if you enabled motion blur and it didn't work, make sure to change your 3D from advanced to classic 3D. Zooming out is done and now let's make a wheel closing animation. Select the original clip with the wheel and let's mask out wheel one more time. In Mocha select elliptical tool and mask out the wheel as smooth as possible. Once you are satisfied, enable perspective and click on tracking button. As the tracking is done, click on save button and close Mocha AE. Expand mat and click on create AE masks. Press M on your keyboard and tick inverted. Now duplicate that layer, then select bottom one and untick inverted to bring the wheel back. Make sure to double click on anchor point tool now and move the anchor point to the center of the wheel. Press P on your keyboard now and then scroll to the end of the very bottom clip. Then click on position stopwatch icon. Press R on your keyboard and click on rotation stopwatch icon as well. Scroll backward a bit now and press U on your keyboard to see created keyframes. Let's add rotations a bit, then change position to the right and make sure you don't see the wheel. Let's check the animation now. That looks cool, enable motion blur on animation layer and we are done. But, let's add some shake effects once it zooms out and then one on a will closing moment. I will skip that part cause I have made shake tutorials, also I have created 16 unique shake presets that you can check in the description. Check how it looks like with AM film shake presets. That's way better and now we can jump to a second mask effect. Wheel shockwave effect. First of all duplicate your clip and rename it to wheel. Let's add mocha then and mask the wheel as smooth as possible. Once you are satisfied with it, enable perspective and click on tracking button. As the tracking is done, click on save and close mocha AE. Expand mat now and enable apply mat. Now make sure to double click on an anchor point tool and move the anchor point to the very center of your wheel. Press S on your keyboard and click on scale stopwatch icon. Press T then and click on opacity stopwatch icon. Now press U to open created keyframes and then scroll forward a bit and scale the wheel to around 200%. Then change opacity to 0%. Animation is ready and now let's add some effects to make it look smoother. Add find edges first and then make sure to tick invert. Add tint now. In case if you want to change shockwave color, feel free to change map white to any color you want, I will leave it white. Now click on toggle switches slash modes and change wheel layers mode to screen. And lastly we can add a glow, I will use a deep glow plugin. If you don't have a deep glow, follow me on Instagram and write me a word, plugins, and I will send you a deep glow and other plugins for free. Now let's jump to a third effect, animated saber outline effect. Make sure to duplicate your clip and rename it to saber. Before applying saber effect we should mask out the wheel. Add mocha AE on saber layer. In mocha grab an elliptical tool and mask the wheel as smooth as possible. Once you are done, enable perspective and click on tracking button. As the tracking is done, click on save and close mocha AE. Expand mat now and click on create AE masks. Now let's apply a saber plugin. 
Under the Saber, expand Render Settings and change Composite Settings to Add. Then expand Customize Core and change Core Type to Layer Masks. Now go to Presets and select one you will enjoy more. Then play around with Glow and Core Settings and once you are happy with it, we can animate the Saber. Change End Offset to 0%. Make sure now you are at the beginning of Saber layer and then click on End Offset Stopwatch icon. Then scroll to very end of Saber layer and change End Offset to 100%. Go to very beginning of Saber layer again and click on Mask Evolution Stopwatch icon. Go to very end now and change Evolution to 1. That will make your Saber line rotate one time. If you want more rotations, set Evolution as much as you wish. Saber animation is done and now let's jump to another effect. Duplicated Wheels effect. Duplicate your clip and rename it to Wheel. Let's add Mocha now and mask out the wheel. In Mocha select an ellipse tool and mask the wheel as smooth as possible. Once you are done, enable perspective and then click on tracking button. As the tracking is done, click on save and close Mocha. Expand mat now and enable apply mat. Make sure to double click on an anchor point tool and then move the anchor point to the very center of the wheel. Now press S on your keyboard and click on scale stopwatch icon, then change scale to 0%. Scroll to very end now and change scale back to 100%. If you play back the video you will see that the effect is ready but, now let's duplicate that wheel layer and make more of this effect. Duplicate wheel layer and press U on your keyboard to open created keyframes, then go 10 frames forward and move top wheel layer's keyframe there. Make as much duplicates as you want, simply do the same steps until you are satisfied. Lastly enable motion blur on all wheel layers and we are done. And now let's jump to the last effect, Wheel Shine effect. Duplicate your clip and rename it to Wheel. Let's add Mocha now and mask out the wheel. In Mocha select an ellipse tool and mask the wheel as smooth as possible. Once you are done, enable perspective and then click on tracking button. As the tracking is done, click on save and close Mocha. Expand mat now and enable apply mat. Now add CC light sweep effect. I will change direction to 0 degrees. And now change center to control the light and choose how you want it to be animated. I will move it all the way left and then click on center stopwatch icon. Then scroll to very end of wheel layer and move the center all the way right. Wheel shine animation is ready but, let's play around with the settings now to make it look smoother and better. Scroll to the middle so we can see it and then change shape to smooth. I will decrease the width a bit and then increase sweep intensity a bit. Also increase both edges until you are satisfied. And of course you can change the color of the shine, but I like it leaving as white. This was 5 easy will mask effects you can do in After Effects. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.